BuzzFeed's Tasty Video Series has only been around since last summer, but it already has more than 53 million likes on Facebook alone. And only here on CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy gives us a behind-the-scenes look at this digital sensation. Yeah. It's dinner time for these three 20-something roommates in New York City. <laughs> Their cramped kitchen leaves little room for cookbooks, but they don't need them. They have this. I think we did a pretty good job. I think, I think they might look better. Their guide is a one-minute long online video from BuzzFeed's Tasty series. I don't think you actually need a lot of space to make tasty stuff, as long as you have like a cutting board and an oven something that every New York City kitchen has. The tasty videos are cooked up in the shadow of the Hollywood sign inside this rooftop test kitchen in Los Angeles. We want people to be able to watch the video and feel like they can pull it off at home. That simple recipe is working. More than 500 tasty videos have been posted online since last July. Everything from lasagna poppers to chocolate cheesecake bites and a mojito to wash it all down. Each video ending with an emphatic, oh yes! They've been viewed 14 billion times, yes, billion, mostly on Facebook. BuzzFeed estimates that one in four active Facebook users watch at least one tasty video every month is the goal to kind of demystify cooking. Yeah, I mean, we want to reduce all of the friction and all of the anxiety that comes with cooking. We want, really want to position cooking as this natural thing that anyone can do. Uh, and you're going to make mistakes as you go. That's OK. So this is kind of a 180 from the Martha Stewart style of cooking. Listen, I love Martha Stewart. <laughs> Growing up in my household, she was just known simply as Martha. But it is, um, you know, a little bit different. We hope that the video feels like the point of view of the actual cook. A few things we want to talk about at today's brainstorm. The Tasty Team, which includes you know, actual cooks, meets every week to figure out what kind of food to make. Rainbow toast? Yeah. How cool is that? I don't know if there's some milky graham cracker dessert or something. And grilled strawberries as well. And then do like a Nutella Whoa. in the middle. Is strawberry strong enough to infuse in like an oil? So many good ideas. I'm starving now. So Andrew, what do you got going? Andrew Ilnicki produces tasty videos. The entire team whips up an average of two videos per day. Claire and I are going to be working on a mini s'mores pie with like a broiled marshmallow on top. It's really good. We want to give people the most instruction possible in the least amount of time. So we're going to start by crushing up some graham crackers, putting those in a muffin tin, making a really basic chocolate ganache that's going to be poured into those. Look at the color this is becoming. And then those get topped with a single marshmallow and broiled. Ooh. So good. And that's pretty much it. After some editing and the added ingredient of music, this is the end result. Oh, yes! There's something cool about that that inspires somebody to take action and then share the results of that action. Um, also, I mean, food's just fun. Hope you're hungry! And now it doesn't have to be so hard to make something so tasty. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. Is it dignified to lick the TV screen on the camera right now? Absolutely. That's such a great idea. BuzzFeed does so many cool things. I agree. I like Food it. is fun. Food is Food very is fun. fun.